Hey everyone, Tanner Bell here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am so excited to be here today because we're going to share with you how to iron on wood. It is such a huge thing going around wanting to know all the tips and tricks for perfect ways to iron on wood. And in today's video, I'm going to share with you my best tips and tricks for that process. So let's jump into it. I'm so excited for this. We've got our piece weeded out and what we're going to put it on today is a piece of slab wood. You can find this at Michael's or your local craft store. There's so many of these and I love them. They're super trendy and perfect for anything. The main reason why I love using this with my Cricut Easy Press and Iron On is when you feel this, it's super smooth. It's going to be perfect for anything that you're going to want to iron on wood. Other wood surfaces that aren't smooth are not going to adhere well because when you're taking your piece of iron on in the iron, if the iron can't touch your transfer tape, it's not going to be able to heat up and you're not going to have as much success as something like this very smooth piece of wood. What you want to do is preheat your Easy Press to 340 degrees and your tip timer for 30 seconds. So now we're going to pick up our iron on and we're going to position it onto our wood slab. It is a little confusing trying to position this perfect on a wood slab because the wood slab is not a perfect circle. So what you want to do is just make sure you look at it right. And what we're going to do is actually I'm going to stand up. We're going to make sure we're happy with it. And then what we're going to do is grab our easy press that is already heated and we're going to start on one side and we're going to press this and we're going to let it count down maybe for 10 seconds and check on it. You do want to apply pressure but you do not want to move it because if you move the easy press it could move your design on the wood. So you can look at that. I think this looks really good so we're just going to move it over to the other half and we're going to hit it over here as well. Okay, and then we're going to lift up and you can check and see if there's any areas that you miss. You can honestly pull it up just a little to see how it did and ours is already heated down. So check how, how easy this is. There is a piece right down here that I want to go ahead and hit one more time. There's a few different videos on this process, but I honestly prefer doing a warm peel. And just like that, you have an amazing iron-on piece. You're going to love how easy it is to iron on wood. It's not intimidating. You just have to have the right tools and make sure that you don't overheat the wood. It like, just curls up on you if you let it overheat and you have to have that smooth wood like we did today. There are a few different variables that you are not always gonna be able to do perfect as we've done on a few live streams where I've actually had a few craft fells ironing on wood, but definitely if you're new to ironing on wood, I love these wood panels and like I said, you can pick them up at Michael's. That's where I pick mine up and they always have such a great selection. If you guys have any questions, leave a comment down below. Be sure to join us at makersgonnalearn.com for exclusive die cutting files, tips and tricks, exclusive live streams, and a lot more. But as always, hit the subscribe button, give us a thumbs up, and we'll see you back here for another Cricut video. See ya! Bye!